All right. The back doesn't work. But when I push this, So in my case, it's the left and right hand side have toggle switches and when you push them backwards, either side, the chair doesn't go backwards. I actually ran a temporary wire from the switch all the way to the uh, board, which is by the foot part of the chair, and it actually worked. So somewhere the wire is messed up, somewhere between the back of the chair and the front of the chair. fix it so at the other end of the chair there's a wiring diagram and it shows that the brown wire both on that switch and on the foot end of the chair control the backwards uh, recline of the chair so that's how I knew which wire it was and I ran that gray wire from the switch to the board uh, where the brown wire was. I just shoved it in the little opening and the chair actually worked and it worked for like a week or two with no issue. So I'm just gonna take that gray wire off and do this permanently. That's the idea. And I'm doing it with Wago connectors, which work out really well. So now I'm just gonna raise the chair to give myself a little bit of clearance to work underneath. A lot easier when the chair is raised up. So as the camera moves towards the back, you'll be able to get a look and see the wiring diagram underneath the chair, which they don't really provide anymore, but that's great. It shows you exactly which wire controls which motion in the chair. So I just got to get to that box off and, and that's it. What do you think? Four. Five. No, thanks. They didn't come? I don't know. Oh. All right, I'm going to cut this and put another wire through there. So as I'm watching this back, the idea was I was replacing the brown wire running underneath the chair. So I really didn't need to connect both sides of that wire together again. All I needed to do was replace that wire. So I really didn't even, in, didn't even need to strip this part right there. All I needed to do was connect the switch, which is the top part, to a new wire, and then connect the new wire underneath 
to the circuit board underneath, but I, I basically did a three-way up top here for absolutely no reason because I didn't connect it down on the bottom. So this is the part that needs to be connected. So you'll see, like I said, I did a, a Wago connector. I happen to have a fiver lying around, but see, so there's the black wire that I'm gonna use to run under the chair. So here I'm just using the existing wire that's running under the chair to pull the new wire. So I'm just connecting the temporary piece of junk I put in there to the new wire that's going to be there permanently with some electrical tape and I'm just going to pull it through from the back to the front. Actually, I don't even need this brown connected. I just need this bottom one connected. Let's see if that works. Let's attach the other side. So luckily that was the issue. It was basically the wire somewhere underneath the chair. When I bypassed that wire, it worked, which it is now. So all I have to do is button back up the chair and connect the wire a little better with some cable ties and it's fixed. Okay, so I don't have to connect that other, that other brown wire is just going back to here. So I'm just bypassing it with the black one. So I was stupid, I cut this shorter than I should have. I should have cut it all the way up there, but oh well. All right, so let's just unplug this, put it back together. These things go into there. There it is. but it's done. So it's bypassed now. 